Welcome to ChristianPodcast.com. We want to tell you the top Christian YouTube channels in 2024. That's Are you exciting. ready, Millie? That's exciting. And we want to show you our website right now. Maybe you're on our website, but maybe you're visiting us on YouTube or other channels. So if you go to our website and you click on blog, uh, you're going to see this this uh, amazing people amazing people called discover the best christian youtube channels for inspiring content and faith based entertainment that was all ai produced mm -hmm. <laughs> that title uh but let's click on it and check it out Millie. so what we're gonna do in this segment of this video is i'm gonna show you the 12 well it's actually the 13 uh best christian youtube channels for inspiring content but i want to tell you a little bit of why we chose this podcast, okay? These are more mostly um, Christian YouTube channels because there's a lot of Christians who are on YouTube doing other type of content, right? Like we have friends who are into the gaming industry and they have channels who are super successful and the producers are Christian. But in this case, it's not if the author is Christian, is that the whole channel is about kind of like Christianity yes. mm -hmm. and tackling those type of topics, right? Yes. And I'm sure you're going to say, you know, you missed this or you missed that. Uh, well, let us know in the comments. But these are the ones that I found really relevant. And what I'm going to do, Millie, I started this list in 2024, January. And right now, as we're recording this episode, it's um, August. So almost like more than half a year. So we're going to see how much they've grown in yeah. the last year okay and maybe you can help me with your phone to see to look at the channels i don't know we'll see so the first one is top christian youtube channels vlad shabuk no that guy when they <laughs> vlad shabuk 1.21 million views wow. i mean million subscribers now let's go to his youtube page and see how much he's grown okay so Vlad Shavuk, 1.55. 1.55. So he's grown substantially. He's um so he was at 1.2, now he's at 1.5. So he's on his way to probably two million at the end of this year. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Right? And you've listened to him really. So just give us a little bit of what do you think about him um and his YouTube channel? His faith is pretty strong, Beto. And mm -hmm. he also is an immigrant. They brought oh, wow. him here when he was like teenager, probably. Mm -hmm. with, uh, he was struggling a lot with the English, the language. Oh, wow. You know, and <laughs> they bullied him his whole life. Oh, wow. Because, because he the eye. Had, uh, and he, he, he was born with a uh, defect in his eye. Mm hmm so they i think he experienced a few surgeries but nothing wow. happened better uh -huh. his eye continued to be like almost like close mm -hmm. and weird so um his uncle uh he ha have a church so he was working for his uncle mm. you know but he was like trying to f to feed in groups Mm -hmm. You know, to be in the worship band and they kick him for the worship band. He wow. was no good for anything <laughs> at school too. So he wrestled in a lot. And what I like about him, he decided to encounter Jesus in his room. Wow. You know, he's like, for two years, I will go and I will close my, my door from my room and I will scream. I put music like super loud so my parents can hear me. And I was uh, screaming at God. And I was so mad at him. Like, why do I would just want to be dead? And, you know, like wow. he was depressed. Mm -hmm. And he struggled a lot. But one day, I think God worked in his heart and he started using him wow. with the youth. So he was a, a pastor for the youth. Wow. And he was going to the schools mm. to preach the gospel. Wow. And somehow, you know, he he came from a church where basically you don't clap, like oh, super really? legalist, you know. Mm -hmm. But then his uncle saw something on him and he started giving him more power and more um an opportunity to you know to okay, listen to you. Like, like he helped him a lot to develop wow. him. Mm -hmm. 
Oh boy. So now he, you know, everything he shares is basically his story. Mm -hmm. Like, look what God did with me and he used him and he did kind of this thing that he was healing people. Mm -hmm. So that's how his church went up because the miracle that mm. her, his people are experiencing. Wow. And he fights with the devil and he knows how. Wow. Okay. So that's Vlad Savchuk, uh podcast on YouTube, the the number one from <laughs> at least on this list. Okay, we're gonna go to the second one. The beat Alan Parr, 1.15 million subscribers at the beginning of 2024. Let's see how many now. Uh 1.23. Okay, so he only grew a little bit, but still, I mean. When was the last time you were at a million subscribers <laughs> on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And he, it says right here, new video every Tuesday with Alan Parr. So same type of thing, you know, he discusses um, cultural relevant stuff happening in our society. Most of the YouTube channels will do that, uh, of the Christian YouTube channels, because that's really how they stay on mm. the top of their game and uh, views, because people really want to see what's going on right mm. As of today. So Isaiah Saldivar, four, I mean, 800, four. Okay, I don't know how to read numbers in English, sorry. <laughs> Isaiah Saldivar, 845,000 followers. Okay, it says right here, husband, father, live streamer, revivalist. He, he was an atheist and then he became a believer. So now he's like super full on, on fire for God. Uh, he tackles a lot of... Same thing, you know, kind of like controversial topics, but let's see how much he grew, at least in the half of the year that we've had so far. He's at a 920,000 subscribers, so substantially, he's almost hitting a million subscribers mm -hmm. pretty soon, right? Okay, so that's Isaiah Saldivar, Mike Winger. So this guy is in another list that we have on for uh, the best Christian podcast on Spotify. So that's the one I was showing on another video. So if you go to another blog here on our website, you're going to find him too for the audio podcast. But he's a solid believer. It says right here, you will learn to think biblically about everything so you can deal with false teaching. Know what scripture says about specific issues. Prove Christianity is true. Go deep into theology and become a go-to resource for biblical knowledge so you can help others. That's his passion. So that's Mike Winger. He started uh, the year at 654,000. And let's see how he's doing so far. 664. 770,000. So more than 100 thousand subscribers in Very less good. than a year that's amazing wow incredible so there you have you know there's there's the episode where he's talking about benny hinn and it's funny because i'm kind of just glancing over and i see ruslan so we we're gonna get to ruslan too <laughs> okay uh ruslan he's the next one ruslan wow. four hundred sixty nine thousand subscribers no, at the beginning of the year this guy had more than we'll see so Ruslan KD is a Christian YouTuber, hip hop artist, and entrepreneur, a refugee from Baku, Azerbaijan. He moved to the U.S. as a child. His YouTube channel, popular for its insightful commentary on faith, lifestyle, and music, offers live streams, interviews, and Q&A sessions. Okay, so Millie, this I love Ruslan because when I started Christian Podcast in English, he was one of the guys I was listening to, and he had... Barely, I think a thousand, ten thousand, something like that, ten thousand followers back then. And that was when COVID hit. And then, you know, he started producing more and more and more videos. And now he's one of the tops. Let's see how many. So he started at 469. He's Armenian, right? He's Armenian, yes. So he started at 469,000 in year 2024. And right now he's at 612. So a little bit less than 200,000 followers in what's what's the year so far of 2024. Incredible. I love Ruslan. Probably my favorite out of all. I don't know why. Um, he resonates with me so much. I mean, I love all they the... They look alike. I listen you to him me? and I feel like I'm listening to you. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. 
their beliefs, their we're, style. We're brothers from they, another they mother. Both are musicians, you know? Maybe, yes, he's a musician. that's why you guys have the same wiring. And I'm just, Probably. he's Armenian and you're Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> and he does more like hip hop stuff and I like more like indie rock. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're going to see him and, and find like he's all kinds of... He's around age, no? A little bit less. I think he's in his late 30s, for sure. We're 43 as of recording this. So he's a little bit younger, but for sure. Um, I love Ruslan, right? And he, he yeah, uh, that's that's all I'm going to say. I love Ruslan. Uh, I want to have, well, I'm going to tell you at the end of this list what I want to do. Okay? okay, my dream, my pipe dream. Okay. Ali Beth Stucky. So she's also on our Spotify, uh, the best Christian podcast on Spotify list. Ali Beth Stucky. She's solid. She's she's awesome. She started the year with 414K followers. Let's see how she's doing as of August of 2024. She's at 527K followers. So almost like a hundred thousand more followers in mm -hmm. in half of the year that's gone by so far. That's great. Love Ali Betstucky. Like I said, it's the type of production that you would see from like Daily Wire, uh, but with a solid Christian, like we said, conservative for sure, uh, Christian perspective. But she's great, phenomenal. Another one that's super influential on YouTube. It's called What Do You Meme? What do you meme? <laughs> 366,000 followers at the beginning of the year. It says right here, we exist to help you understand how Christianity makes sense of life by breaking down cultures, leading voices and events with the intent to help you grow spiritually, grow in your understanding of others and grow in your understanding of the gospels meaning for your life. So very similar to the other podcasters, right? And they mm -hmm. always tackle like cultural um, relevant stuff going on. And I, I guess that's also just to stay relevant on YouTube, right? You need to do that. So he's at 462,000 subscribers. And we said he started with what? 366. Good job. Wow. 100,000 more subscribers. Yeah. Wow. So it's great to see all these Christian YouTubers grow. Melissa Doherty. Uh, she used to be into... A new age mm. and that type of stuff, you know, maybe witchcraft and that sort of stuff. And then she became a follower of Jesus. Uh, so now that's kind of like her authority, right? So she would tackle the, that sort of stuff and even say, like warn Christians who are doing that or are leaning to that. And she would say, uh-uh, you know, be careful with that. Yeah. So she's a solid believer. She's on every platform too. I follow her on X. Uh, so she started the year with 252,000 subscribers and she's at, let's see, 273. So she's probably the one that's grown less, but when was the last time you grew thousands of subscribers in less than a year, mm -hmm. right? So she saw some Melissa Dougherty. She's actually writing a book right now. So we might have her on our show if we do it through the publishers. That'd be great. Alisa Childers, 205,000 followers. Alisa Childers started in a kind of like a pop Christian band. When I was growing up, Millie, I used to listen to like this, like I would say cheesy Christian bands. Uh, and she was in one of them, you know, not that it was you know, kind of cheesy. cheesy, but uh, <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe music for like Christian teenagers. Uh -huh. Um so anyways, now she's got like an apologetic Christian YouTube channel where she says, it says right here, equipping Christians to identify the core beliefs of historic Christianity, discern its counterfeits and proclaim the gospel with clarity, kindness and truth. Sweet. So that's exactly what you'll get from her on her YouTube channel. So like I said, she started with 205. Let's see how she's doing. 205 and now she's at... 222. Okay, so a little bit more than, I don't know, I'm not good at math. 17? 17, right? 17,000. <laughs> yeah. 17,000? I mean, that's great. I mean, I, we, I wish we grew me? by 17,000 <laughs> in less than a year. Good job, Alisa. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, number 10. We're almost done with this list. Number 10 is Sean McDowell with 204 started. Sean McDowell is a professor at Biola University. So super close to where we're at, Millie, here in, in um, Orange County. 
even though I think Biola is already Orange part County, of LA. No? Oh, I, don't, LA? I think I think Biola is LA. Okay. But uh, on this channel, he tackles some of the biggest questions about God, morality, and contemporary culture. So you can check it out there. And we said he started at 204,000. Now he's at 285. Wow. That's that's uh, 80,000 more subscribers Amazing. in less than a year. Right. And you can see right here on the video some of the topics that he covers. You can tell by the colors <laughs> what type of content he's producing. But he's a professor, right? So how cool is that, that a professor is also a YouTuber? Mm -hmm. Number 11, Girls Gone Bible. Oh, they're so sweet and cute. You've listened to them before, Millie? Yes. Okay, so they they risen to fame so much, but they're also um, actresses, mm -hmm. right? So I think that's be you know, because of having that following and that um, kind of like glamour of being in Hollywood and all of that, they, they got a a pretty good following so quickly but they're investigating the bible right like they're following jesus they're asking questions they have awesome guests they have iker on her podcast the other day the, oh, really yeah the preacher that you like from la i think they're in la i think they go to mosaic or have been a part of mosaic church in la yeah uh, mosaic church in la has been known i mean it's the church of erwin mcmanus but it's also been known to be a church that influences uh, Hollywood? Hollywood, right? So it's not untypical to see That's you know, nice. Hollywood kind of people show up to yes. their church. So they started the year with 142,000. Let's see how they're doing. I'm, I'm probably... I'm sure they grow double. Oh, more than double, Millie. Wow. <laughs> 552,000 subscribers. It's wow. They understand pretty good the culture. Mm. And they're new. They're new. So people uh -huh. relate a lot. And they're With super them. good looking too. So. Oh, they're so cute. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that, they're so, so sweet. So you can see there's Iker so right there. Oh, yeah. They, they have an Ike. interview with her. So, so cool. I mean, they're... they're see how powerful? I love powerful. it. Powerful. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so this is the last them. one. Brady Shearer, 141,000 subscribers. So also, uh, he's on, on our uh, Spotify podcast list. But he helps churches, Millie. So that's why I have him on this list. Because if you're uh, in some sort of like church leadership and you want to help your church grow, and especially with like the social media context, like YouTube, uh, content for Spotify, like podcasts, uh, content for like TikTok, Reels for Instagram, uh, that sort of stuff. He's brilliant. His videos are probably my favorite, like so well done, well produced. I love him. If if I had all the time in the world to do a video, like take all the time to produce it and do editing, this is the style I would probably go after, Millie. He's so good. I love him. And right now he's at 147,000 subscribers. So, and he's, he's shifting a little bit in what, how they're approaching, you know, helping churches and all of that. Cause I think now you can subscribe to pro church tools and they actually sign in like, I think a, a thousand churches that they're going to help, um, grow, so cool. you know, with their content and all of that. So solid believer, I think he's in Canada. So how cool is that? Right. And then finally, Mili, finally we have Beto and Mili. With 450 subscribers, <laughs> not 1,000, just 450 subscribers on our English stream and a little bit over 1,300 or 1,300 subscribers on a Spanish uh, channel. So if you click here, you go to our Spanish channel. And I don't think this is when we started the year because I think we added ourselves a little bit later. And then we're in a... We're in a feed loop where we're seeing ourselves live right here. Uh, so we're at a thousand subscribers with 380. Cool. Right? I mean, there's hope. So with that, if you're here and you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that'd be so great. So Millie, what do you think about this list that we have on christianpodcast.com, all these YouTubers, the success they're finding in growing their channels, and maybe how God is utilizing them, including us, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. to, to spread the gospel, to spread good news, to bring cult, uh, relevant cultural topics to our society. It's so helpful. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people is waking up 
and they're looking for information and using all these platforms. Uh, people is not going to churches, but Beto is going, you know, they use this uh, websites mm -hmm. to learn more and be more like Jesus. It's so helpful. I love it. I love it. I love to see how God is using his people mm -hmm. when you're willing to do that. I love it. So, yeah, it's great to see the growth of all these amazing Christian YouTube channels. So good. So hopeful. And I'm going to say this, Millie, to, to end this, this little portion of the video, that one of the dreams that we have for ChristianPodcast.com is if ever, for whatever reason, the content of these, these creators, you know, gets banned or gets pulled down for whatever reason, we want... Christian podcast to be a place where maybe like imagine these 14 or what 13 well actually we're already there so 12 uh, podcasters came to our website and they put their content here mm -hmm. you know how much you know would Christian podcast grow but also help and expand right so I would love at some point Millie to have I mean this is my pipe dream right to to have podcasters kind of like Daily Wire is doing with with their podcast content you know Uh, conservative type of content and all of that but how about Christian produced type of content under one umbrella that can expand and grow exponentially and now you can create even better content maybe documentaries maybe movies and reach an audience and invite other people to follow Jesus mm -hmm. so that's my pipe dream that's my vision so if any of you guys you know Ruslan Um, Ali Beth Stuckey, Mike Winger, Isaiah Saldivar, The Beat with Alan Parr, or Vlad Zvakchuk, or any of you out there, you know, who have a, a growing YouTube platform and, you know, see any value of maybe partnering with us on ChristianPodcast.com, reach out to us. You know, it's easy. Just come here and go to the contact page or just email me at Beto, Beto at ChristianPodcast.com or Millie at christianpodcast.com M-I-L-I Okay, so thank you for being on this video. Again, like and subscribe to our channels. Share with a friend. We want to reach 2 million people by the end of the year. Why not? <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Okay. So cool. Thank you, Beto. <laughs>